Welcome, dear viewers, to an in-depth exploration of one of the most profound and transformative aspects of the Christian faith, the blood of Jesus. Today, we will delve into what the blood of Jesus consumed, what it signifies, and its powerful implications for believers. From the Old Testament foreshadowing to the New Testament fulfillment, we will uncover the rich and multifaceted meaning of Jesus' sacrificial blood. Understanding the concept of sacrifice in the Bible, to grasp the full significance of Jesus' blood, we must first understand the biblical concept of sacrifice. In the Old Testament, sacrifices were a central part of worship and atonement. The shedding of blood was necessary for the forgiveness of sins, as articulated in Leviticus 17.11. For the life of a creature is in the blood, and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. The foreshadowing of Jesus' sacrifice in the Old Testament. The Old Testament is replete with foreshadowings and types that point to the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus. Key examples include 1. The Passover Lamb, Exodus 12. The blood of the Passover lamb, which saved the Israelites from the angel of death, prefigures Jesus as the Lamb of God, whose blood saves humanity from eternal death. 2. The Day of Atonement, Leviticus 16. On Yom Kippur, the high priest would sprinkle the blood of a bull and a goat in the Holy of Holies to atone for the sins of the people. This act prefigures Jesus, the high priest, who offers his own blood for the atonement of all humanity. Three. The Suffering Servant, Isaiah 53. Isaiah's prophecy of the Suffering Servant, who is pierced for our transgressions and crushed for our iniquities, directly points to the sacrificial death of Jesus. The New Testament Fulfillment. The New Testament presents the fulfillment of these Old Testament shadows in the person and work of Jesus Christ. Several key passages highlight the significance of Jesus' blood. 1. The Last Supper, Matthew 26, 27, 28. Jesus institutes the new covenant, declaring, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. 2. The crucifixion, John 19.34. The piercing of Jesus' side, resulting in blood and water flowing out, symbolizes the outpouring of his life for the salvation of humanity. 3. Hebrews 9.11.14. This passage contrasts the blood of animals with the superior and final sacrifice of Jesus' blood, which cleanses our consciences from acts that lead to death. What did the blood of Jesus consume? 1. Sin and guilt. Jesus' blood consumed the power of sin and guilt, offering complete forgiveness and cleansing to believers. As verse John 1, 7 states, the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. 2. The curse of the law. The law brought awareness of sin, but could not offer complete redemption. Galatians 3.13 tells us, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. Jesus' blood consumed the curse, setting believers free. 3. Separation from God. Sin created a chasm between humanity and God. Ephesians 2.13 declares, But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. His blood bridges the gap, reconciling us to God. 4. Spiritual death. The wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23 Jesus' blood consumed the power of spiritual death, granting believers eternal life. The power of the blood in the believer's life. 1. Law redemption and forgiveness. Colossians 1.14 emphasizes that, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins, Jesus' blood secures our redemption and offers ongoing forgiveness. 2. Cleansing and sanctification. Hebrews 13.12 highlights that Jesus suffered to make the people holy through his own blood. His blood continually cleanses and sanctifies believers. 3. Victory over evil. Revelation 12.11 reveals that believers triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus empowers believers to overcome the forces of darkness. 4. Access to God's presence. Hebrews 10, 19, 22 declares that we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, offering us direct access to God's presence. Practical application, living in the power of Jesus' blood. One, confession and repentance. Regularly confessing our sins and repenting keeps us under the cleansing power of Jesus' blood. 1 John 1, 9. Two, bold prayer. Approaching God's throne with boldness, knowing that Jesus' blood grants us access, Hebrews 4.16.
3. Spiritual Warfare Utilizing the power of Jesus' blood in spiritual battles, proclaiming victory over evil, Ephesians 6, 10, 18. 4. Community and Communion Participating in communion with a deep understanding of its significance, remembering the sacrifice of Jesus' blood, or 1 Corinthians 11, 23, 26. The Eternal Impact of Jesus' Blood 1. A New Covenant Jesus' blood establishes a new and better covenant, offering eternal promises, Hebrews 8, 6. 2. Inheritance of eternal life. Believers are co-heirs with Christ, assured of eternal life through His blood, Romans 8, 17. 3. Reconciliation of all things. Colossians 1, 20 proclaims that through Jesus' blood, all things in heaven and on earth are reconciled to God. Conclusion in conclusion, the blood of Jesus consumed sin, guilt, the curse of the law, separation from God, and spiritual death. It offers believers redemption, forgiveness, cleansing, sanctification, victory over evil, and access to God's presence. The power of Jesus' blood transforms lives, securing our eternal inheritance and reconciling all things to God. Thank you for joining us on this profound exploration of the blood of Jesus. If you found this video enlightening, please like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth biblical content. Until next time, stay blessed and live in the power of Jesus' blood.